What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and we finally have some information for you guys like legit it's been like a week and we've had like no like no news at all and has been probably one of the most dead weeks and I can ever remember obviously we had the release of Ulti Hiori the Toki event and we've had like literally nothing since then so it's finally good that we have some news and this is some very big news so we had the official news time hit we had some official tweets which we'll go through in today's video but it sparks from this which we got about two weeks ago at this point the uh, some of the silhouettes for some of the film red characters that are going to be debuting over this month period for obviously to celebrate the film now obviously the most exciting of these characters is going to be uta now luckily we have official announcement today that uta is confirmed for the game and it's coming out tomorrow. Yes, you heard that correctly. Uta is releasing tomorrow. There is a maintenance period though. Uh, I can't remember when it starts, but I know that it ends at news time tomorrow. When we log in at news time tomorrow, the Sugo Fest is going to be live with Uta. Super Sugo Fest, by the way. We'll talk about that. But here are the silhouettes. Now, there are other Straw Hat characters uh, uh, that are surrounding Uta, but on the official Twitter, this was the first thing that we got announced, the One Piece Treasure Cruise Super Sugo Fest 2022 Summer, August 5th, Friday PST, which of course, if you translate that to the Japan time, is August 6th, which is tomorrow as of the recording of this video. Now, below the date, it does actually mention Prelude, which leads me to believe that there's going to be maybe additional parts to the Sugo Fest that come out later on, which is just super reminiscent of the way that they released Legend Yamato on initial debut, where they had the initial Sugo Fest after a very short maintenance period. The maintenance concluded, they introduced the Super Sugo Fest with the Super Sugo Fest exclusive and then they had the six plus of that character debut you know a couple weeks later I think that there's a very good opportunity that something similar could happen here whether the Uta character has a six plus or they introduce a new character maybe a new Shanks maybe a new Luffy something along those lines so it does also mention that along with Uta, we have Chopper, Nami, Robin, and Brook. These, I believe, are going to be generic rare recruit characters. I'm not I'm not gonna say that these are gonna be legends. I think that would be a little bit weird. I think that the way it's gonna be structured is that Uta is gonna be a solo legend along with these characters. And I think it is a little bit weird that it is a solo legend, but you gotta remember that we just had a brand new batch debut like a week ago, and I do think that there are gonna be other film red related characters that are legends that are coming out or at least at least one other i would say um or whether it's a six plus that are going to come out later on down the line we do know that the treasure map character for this month is going to be sanji from film red uh the exact same silhouette down here in the bottom corner that is Sanji, and he is going to be the TM character. So we don't know if this Sugo Fest is going to count as the Treasure Map Sugo Fest. If I had to guess, I'm going to say that there's still going to be a Treasure Map Sugo Fest, probably with some of the other Straw Hat characters. Uh, at this point in time, we don't know what any of these characters do, by the way, so don't be asking about that. But then we can scroll up, and here we have the official artwork shown of the Super Sugo Fest exclusive Uta character, which looks really, really cool. Uh, a couple of things, though. Number Number one, I am a little bit upset that this is not a fully extended art character. I think that was kind of a missed opportunity, honestly. I'm a big fan of the extended artworks, especially when you apply ink effects on top of the extended artworks. They do amazing jobs with them. So it is a little underwhelming that they didn't do it for this character this time around. However, there is also the, you know, the caveat to that, which could be that this might debut as a six star only character, very similar to Yamato, very similar to Zoro and Sanji for One Piece Day. Um, you know, like the Sai Straw Hats, you know, characters that are just debuting as six star characters that get the super evolution later on to a six plus that gets an extended artwork. That could happen. We'll have to wait and see, obviously. But just in terms of the design of the character, looks really cool. I like the artwork. It looks awesome. And of course, we don't really know what this character does. We have no idea what the attribute or the classes of the character are going to be. But we will get all of that information tomorrow after the maintenance period we're gonna log in we're gonna see what this character does like literally when it comes out which is you know both a little annoying and exciting because people are gonna log into the game they're gonna be super excited and they're gonna spend a lot of rainbow gems to get this character but we don't know if this character is even going to be good and you know people are gonna pull for this character without even looking at the abilities which is kind of funny 
Uh, one thing though is that this character looks to be debuting on a Super Sugo Fest, so we assume that this character is a Super Sugo Fest exclusive. I am going to assume also that this character is probably going to be very good. Um, I, you know, we've seen all the Super Sugo Fest exclusive characters debut up until this point. And there has been none that I would consider to be bad. I guess the only one that people might bring up in terms of a Super Sugo Fest character that is bad is probably the Blue Luffy. So I think if, if you if you would say, you know, which is the worst Super Sugo Fest exclusive, a lot of people would probably say this unit. And while this character has a lot of really cool abilities, you do gotta remember, it is still a quick free spirit and fighter. 2.75 times attack boost and he has a very usable captain ability and he does a final tap which is of course very self-centered but the thing is about this luffy is that if this luffy was like any other character aside from luffy like just randomly just think of something off the top of my head like just imagine if this was like a doflamingo for example this character would still be absolutely busted but it's the fact that it's a luffy and there are already a bunch of other really good luffy's in the game that's the only real thing that kind of brings this character down because if you replace luffy with anything else this character would be amazing still but I think that Uta has very, very high potential of being absolutely busted. Uh, of course, we don't know what she does yet, but I'm very excited to see what they have in store for this character. Another thing as well is, is this character going to be a super tandem? Is this character going to have final tap? It's going to have one of those two, I would think. I, I don't see this character coming out without having one of those two gimmicks. If I had to make an assumption, I'm going to assume it's final tap. Um, though super tandem could definitely happen, but you know, we don't know much about the character yet, unless if you've seen the film or read the spoilers of the film, it's hard to judge what this character is going to have, what kind of abilities this character is going to have. Um, though the fact that we got the free login Luffy that was an int free spirit fighter, I am going to also assume that Uta is probably going to be int. Uh, and then if she does end up getting a super evolution down the line, she could change classes, she could change color, very similar to what they did with Yamato. Again, it's it's just way too hard to guess what this character is going to have in store right now. Um, the Japanese Twitter also put out the exact same tweets, uh, so nothing really too special there, but... I'm just so excited to see what they have in store for this character and either way we are going to be doing a bunch of pulls to get this character so if you guys are interested in all of that we're going to be live streaming when the Sugo Fest hits tomorrow over on the Twitch stream twitch.tv forward slash Totski it's always linked down below in the video description of all the videos so make sure you go ahead and check that one out man I cannot wait so definitely let me know down below in the comment section are you guys excited for the Sugo Fest Super Sugo Fest exclusive of Uta and what are you expecting and remember we do get some more straw hats that we can pull for here as well with the chopper Nami Robin and Brooke and the additional straw hats so you know Frankie um, Usopp and you know Zora and stuff those characters will come maybe with the treasure map Sugo Fest potentially if they're doing a Kizuna Sugo Fest we don't really know what they're going to do at the moment but i'm super excited for it let me know down below in the comment section your guys opinions on it hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today and if you guys did enjoy it make sure go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video